Coming up in today's video, I'm going to show you the latest features in the DV Visual Builder. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to our very first episode in 2018. So this episode is about the Visual Builder, so I'm going to show you the latest features and how you can start using them straight away. By the way, if you haven't uh, design, started designing your WordPress uh, website or you want to learn more about WordPress, I have a course called WordPress Mastery. This course is absolutely free. Information to how to sign up to that course is in the show notes below. And yes, it's 100% free. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you these latest features. So right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm gonna go to a page which is pre-designed. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, this filters page, click on edit. So the changes are in this visual builder. So I'm gonna click on use visual builder. Now, when you first load the Visual Builder, it's hard to see where the changes are. So uh, let me show you how you can access those changes. Okay, so let's start off with the first one, how to snap the, snap, uh, the settings bar. So this is the settings bar right here at the bottom. So what you need to do is you click on it once and then it expands and shows you all the features uh, around that. Now, by default, this was stuck to the bottom, but now you can now use it on the left side, the right side, or the top. So let me show you how to do that. It's quite straightforward. All you have to do is to click on this X and then you can start dragging it towards where you want this to be. Now, I know it's quite difficult to see, but there's a little circle that shows here. So if you just let go and just drop it there, this is where now your settings bar is and you can now just use it as normal. So you can click um, the builder settings, you know, activate all your settings that you need and this just works the same way. And as I mentioned, this can also be uh, dragged to the right side or the top. So let me just quickly show you that. So now I'm just dragging it over here to the right like that and you can snap it like that. Now I'm just going to bring it back right here to the bottom because that's what I'm used to uh, using. I prefer using it from the bottom. I guess it's because I've been using uh, the Divi Builder that way. So it's a bit weird to have it on the left. But the most important thing is that feature is now available. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how the settings window is uh, responsive and fluid. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to the settings of any item here on my site. So uh, I'm going to start over here with my um, text module. So you can see now that it pretty much fills uh, the most, uh, most of my page. But if I resize my page, you can see here that it's adapting according to uh, my screen size. So this is ideal if you are designing your website on say a uh, smartphone or even a tablet. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this back here to its normal size. So you can also drag this and uh, use it wherever you want. In fact, I'm going to resize this one more time like that. And now this is the next feature that I was going to show you. When you drag this and make it bigger, do you, uh, you can start to see that uh, these uh, columns are now available for us to, uh, to use. So before we never, uh, we never had this, we had to sort of like click into it to, in order for this to be revealed. So the design, you had to go into the design like that and the advanced like that. Now, the cool thing here is you can actually use this, in fact, by snapping it to, um, to the left like that and then by just dragging it like this, you can now see that these columns are now revealed. Now, this is actually really, really good if you have a massive screen, like I use a 27 inch iMac. So now I have a split screen where I have all the elements I need to design my website. And I think this is a really, really cool addition to this. So this is how you can use this. Okay, so um, if you prefer using it uh, without being snapped, and as I showed you uh, a moment ago, you can just unsnap it like that. Okay, so let's move on to the final feature, which is snapping your settings window to the sides or the bottom. Right, so if I click here on the top, you can see here that now it's detached. Now I can just drag this all the way to the bottom and let go. And now I can resize this. And now my settings uh, window is now on snap to the bottom. So this is one way that you can use, uh, but this is ideal for situations where you have 
a vertical monitor or you prefer having all your settings right here at the bottom. I think this is really, really cool to be honest. And um, again, if you want to move this to the right, you can do so by just clicking here on the top bar and then just dragging it to the right and then let go. So now it's on the right. So these are the features that we have in our latest um, DV Visual Builder. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about web design and you'd like to learn how to use Divi, I have a course which has a discount at the moment, 50% discount. So click the link below and start learning how to master Divi and build awesome looking websites. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.